Hi everyone, so today I have my Lush Christmas and Halloween haul. So these were all the products that I wanted that I didn't get at the showcase. So I don't really know how I'm going to break this up because I also have like a few kitchen products and I think one or two regular or online exclusive products as well. So I'm just going to grab whatever and go from there. One thing that I'll get out of the way first was I got one of the gift boxes and I couldn't wait to open it. This was the Night for Christmas gift box. But I will have an unboxing on my channel but the reason I'm showing this is because I'm going to also show you the products I got in there as well. So I'm going to start with this which isn't Christmas, Halloween or online exclusive tool but it's the maypole soap and i've been wanting to try this for so so long it basically smells of peppermint it smells like christmas in a soap i know it's not a christmas soap but i've been wanting to try it for so so long and the reason i've been waiting until i post an online order i've mentioned this before obviously when you buy them in the shops it's so so difficult for them to cut them to exactly 100 grams you always end up spending a bit more and their soaps are quite pricey anyway so i tend to when i'm buying like wade products i tend to wait till i buy them online so that's why i have this and i believe he was three pounds fifty four hundred grams let me see if they've got the prices may pass over and they don't have the price i'm gonna say three pounds fifty for hundred grams oh that's annoying none of these have prices okay i'm just gonna have to guess and then put everything in the description box how much they cost Make also love that i've used it as well and i really like it and then there's one thing i got that isn't even christmas themed at all and it was just an online product that i wanted so i'll fly through that if i can find it this so i obviously bought a tin for the shampoo bar this is the copperhead shampoo bar and this was in the shops i think initially and then it didn't sell too well so it went online and this is one of their shampoo bars obviously and it's designed for redheads i've been wanting to try this for a while but i was obviously waiting to place my next online order and it was 6.75 i believe again i'll put the prices down below i really like the color of my hair but towards the autumn winter months when i tend to wear a lot darker clothes obviously today is an exception my hair almost looks at least in my eyes it looks quite yellowy and brassy i don't know if that's because when i was like 16 i dyed my hair blonde and it didn't work and it turned like bright yellow and it was awful and i think subconsciously since then that i can see just yellow brassiness in my hair when i wear particular colors um and this has henna in it so it's meant to kind of bring out the redness in your hair so i was thinking for this time of year it would be really good for that and i've used it four or five times now i really like this the other shampoo bar i was using before this was the honey i washed my hair shampoo bar and that smells so so good but it is quite drying on my hair and i find that my hair gets greasy a lot quicker with that one this one is perfect it's not particularly amazing smelling but it's not unpleasant either it just smells very i want to say earthy that's the scent i'm getting from this i really like this and i think for this time of year it's going to be what i'm looking for i haven't been using it enough to notice any difference in terms of the color in my hair but just as a standard shampoo bar i really like it i'm not going to go on too much because it's not either christmas or halloween so i don't think anyone watching this cares um i do have a few kitchen items which at the time of placing this order it was obviously my last kitchen order which i didn't know at the time because the last kitchen is no more um i know a lot of people are really unhappy about that i'm kind of excited for the changes how i'm reading it is they're just going to expand it more but have a lot more exclusive products available for a longer period of time because i know i've only kind of been into the kitchen for six months or so i've only placed about four or five orders whenever i have wanted a product i'm like i don't want to spend four pounds for hostage for one product especially if there's two products i want one on a monday one on a friday it just gets excessive so for someone that isn't a regular bar of the kitchen i'm quite looking forward to this one. I know there are people that place multiple orders a week that are really upset but let me know what you think on the kitchen changes. I did really want one of the Polaroids that were given away but I didn't want to pay £4 postage for a bit of paper. I kind of think they should have let you buy it and pay maybe one or two pounds postage and they just send it in an envelope but that's me. But as I've mentioned the kitchen I'll get to the two items. This was this soap and I can't remember what it's called. Let me have a look. Oat soap. This I bought, one that I saw making it in the showcase and I was really intrigued because it basically looks like porridge. And I didn't even know porridge had been discontinued until I went back to Lush like six months ago and saw that it's parsley porridge now, which is crap. Who wants that? Porridge was one of my favourite Lush shows and this smells exactly like it. I think it's this, I think this is just a glorified version of porridge. This is like five pounds, so it's quite expensive. When I was at the showcase and they were talking about it, and they said the idea for this is because it's in a pump bottle, was a lot of people have been asking for liquid soaps. Obviously, 
enough she's very anti-packaging so they didn't want to do that so their idea for this product was it looks like a pump bottle but it's a solid soap it's kind of just combined the two ideas together and I did find it lathered up a lot more than how I remember the regular porridge lathering I did really like this but I've used it once and I wasn't even being overly generous with it but at the same time I wasn't like being really skimpy with it and I've used so much of this so I don't think it's going to last a long time at all. That being said I remember the regular porridge out of all of the lush soaps I used regularly that definitely lasted the least amount of time. Yeah that was that. I don't know if it is still available or not I don't think so. This is probably my favourite item from the haul. I almost bought this from the showcase and I didn't and I regretted it. It's the Naked Olive Branch. The Olive Branch is my favourite Lush shower gel, it's one of my favourite Lush products, but I don't buy a lot because the Lush shower gels are a ripper. I've mentioned it before, solid olive branch lasts twice as long so I could justify the price. I have for years been wanting an olive branch soap just because the soaps last so much longer. And this is basically that, it's a mix, it's kind of like a soap and a shower gel combined. Love, love, love this. And I'm going to be doing a review on all of the naked products as well. So that will be soon. And now we're finally getting on to Halloween and Christmas. And I only got three items. I really hope I don't have Nicholas all over my face. I only got three items from the Halloween line. I did nearly get Lord of Mitchell bath bomb. I really want that. I might have to go and buy it. And also pumpkin bath bomb. I have this, which is the sparkly pumpkin bubble bath. Had this last year. Loved it. Smells like cloves. Smells. It's just autumn in a bath. Smells so, so good. And... Um, I did a Halloween haul last year and I'll link that below because in that video I actually did a demo as well and I will be doing demos of that as and when I get to it. Love it, one of my favourite Lush products for this time of year. And then this is new and I can't remember what it's called, the Witch Bumper. This was one that I didn't see at the showcase at all. There was a girl dressed up as this, like walking around. I don't remember seeing it in the shop or in terms of the floor where it had all the demos I didn't see this at all and I filmed everything there so I was either being really simple and I missed it or it wasn't there I almost didn't buy this but then I read the description and it really intrigued me I got it and it smelled really similar I couldn't figure out what it was it's the Sultana of Soap or the Blackberry Bath Bomb scent it's the same scent family Blackberry Bath Bomb has recently been discontinued I've never used it before I bought one to try I haven't got around to trying it yet found it was being discontinued so I have another one but this is basically the same thing with a bubble bar and I prefer the bubble baths over the bath bombs anyway just because you get bubbles and also cost per use they're a lot better value and I think these are going to turn the water black so I'm really intrigued by that so I'm probably going to pick up another two or three of those probably two before that goes and then I have this which has a hair on it which is very nice this is the goth fairy shim bar this was out last year I'm, I didn't try it but then as, as I always do I end up watching um, loads of if I find a lush YouTuber I will basically watch all of their videos and then I find them talking about products that are out of season and since then I knew when it came back I had to try it it just smells like berries but really sweet it just smells so so good I will get it out actually it's meant to be very shimmery oh it just smells amazing I already have um, a massage bar on that smells absolutely amazing and it isn't as greasy as most Lush massage bars it's so so pretty so I knew when she did come back I had to get her everything I have left is Christmas stuff I did get some samples which when you place an order online you have to ask for samples I asked for samples of Christmas and Halloween products just because I thought oh things I haven't tried I might like um, but then I got this and it says sorry we do not have some of the Sorry, we do not sample some of the products that you have requested. I've added something else you might like instead. This is why I love Lush. Instead of them just saying, oh, we don't have that, they will still go out of their way to give you other things so they don't disappoint you. And I have a lot of samples here. First one is a tiny soap. This is the Olive Tree Gourmet Soap. It just smells like grass, but not the grass scent family. It actually just smells like pure grass. And I've been wanting to try some of the Gourmet Soaps for ages, but they're very, very expensive. So I'm very glad I've got a sample of that. And then we have the Chocolate Lip Scrub, which I have, I love. One thing that um, I do notice, because I've had a sample of this before, is um, they're not as finely milled as the ones you actually get when you purchase them. So I think these are just the leftover kind of bits. It smells like chopped orange, it smells absolutely amazing. And then we have the Emotional Brilliance Face Powder. I have this, I love it, so I'm happy to have more. And I'm thinking of doing a review on that soon as well. And then Sleepy Body Lotion, which I've never tried. Twilight Scented, I know everyone loves this. It was on my list to buy anyway, so I'm glad I have a of that. And then this is one of their relatively new products, and it's the Rump Bottom Rump. And this came out with all of the new bath bombs and jelly masks. And at first when I saw it, I wasn't interested at all, but then I ended up watching a review on it. And I'm quite intrigued, so I'm quite glad I have a sample of this now. Although to be honest, 
I don't think that sample is going to get me very far, especially because this time of year it's when everyone eats a bit more. But I'm happy that I have a sample of that, so I'm intrigued as to how that is going to work. And now we're moving on to all of the Christmas products. So I'm going to start off with the kind of package stuff first. So this is the Bouche de Noël Facial Cleanser and the sole reason I've wanted to try this because this has been out for years and I've never been interested is this past year I know I'm very late I found Jen's blog who is all things Lush UK and through that I found her Instagram and her YouTube channel and she loves it she raves and raves about it and her skin is beautiful. I knew when it came back I wanted to try it. I got the alcohol free version just because I thought the I have very sensitive acne prone skin I thought the alcohol would be a bit too harsh. She says how she makes hers last longer is she freezes it. I freeze all of my lush face masks anyway so I know it works and it just smells so so good. It's just marzipan in the top. It smells of almonds and the main ingredient is ground almonds. It has this really beautiful kind of like gold glitter on it as well. I've used it twice. It is quite messy. I didn't dislike it but I didn't love it. I'm kind of haven't used it enough to form an opinion of it but this was actually one of the things that I knew I had to get this year when it came back because like I said Jen has raved about it. Then I've got two lip scrubs. First one is the Santa Baby lip scrub, which is a bright red. And it smells of like cola bottles. It smells so, so good. And it's got hearts in it as well in the lid. And I love the lip scrub. This one is my favorite. This is the Sugar Plum Fairy lip scrub. It just smells very sickly sweet and berryish. And I have used this one and I love it. Might even have to buy another one before it goes. One thing I did want to mention with this is it's labeled as vegan. Having bought this i got an email a couple of days ago from lush and we're really sorry it isn't actually vegan um so if you want it send it back so that's just something if you are vegan and you bought this and you didn't know um they said something about the i think it was the coconut milk let me see what the ingredients are they said something like it was coconut milk that somehow wasn't vegan which i don't really know how um but there's no mention of coconut milk in the ingredients so something in here makes it not vegan but i don't know if they are just rebranding it as vegetarian or if they're actually going to amend the list to make it vegan again. Now I'm going to get on to the Christmas stuff. This one I couldn't wait to use. This came in the Night for Christmas gift set and this is the reason I bought the gift set. This is the Christmas Eve reusable bubble bar. This is not only my all-time favourite Lush Christmas product, it's one of my favourite Lush products in general. And I don't think this has been out for a couple of years, so I was so, so happy it was back. I looked for it at the showcase and I couldn't see it at all. Um, so I was like, oh no, it's actually coming back, but it's been in shops. I love this. I am so, so happy it's come back. It's one of my favourite Lush sets. I've been buying it for years and years. It's changed its design so much over the years. I remember when it first came out, it had the moon actually stuck onto it, then the moon was built into it. This year it's got a star. One of my favourite Lush scents. I'm going to stock up on loads of these because I've been waiting years to try it again. And now I have that, I'm almost able to make my favourite Lush products of all time video. But there is one thing that I want, which is the Sex in the Shower Motor Bomb. I have been waiting for it to come back in the kitchen, but obviously the kitchen is no more. That is also one of my favourite Lush products of all time, which you can't get anymore. So I might have to make the video without that, but I've basically been waiting to get all of my favourites collectively so I can make a video. So if you are interested in that, let me know. And what next? I might as well stick with this because this came in the as well. This is the Shoot for the Stars bath bomb. I always bought this on its own but then I didn't because it's Honey I Wash the Kids scent which is probably my second favourite Lush scent. It always changes between Honey I Wash the Kids and the Olive Branch but I have so many Honey I Wash the Kids bath products now. I've got Mar Bar Bubble Bar, half of that is Honey I Wash the Kids. I've got Honey Bath Bomb, I've got loads of golden eggs, I've got two gold fronts I think but I just love it and it's going to turn the bulb blue and blue is my favourite colour so 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 happy I got that. Oh this smells so so good. I'm going to start with things I had before and then move on to the completely new things. Butter Bear Bath Bomb. I think it's being really noisy outside. Butter Bear Bath Bomb. had this before. Butter Bear is one of my favourite Lush products. One of my favourite budget Lush products. This is only £2. You haven't used a lot of Lush. You want something cheap. Go for this. In terms of I've said the Bath Bombs aren't my favourite because they don't really have much of a benefit to the skin. This is so moisturising. If you want something that actually you feel is going to benefit your skin, Butter Ball or Butter Bear is definitely a way to go. It smells absolutely amazing. And he has a scarf this year. It's so, so cute. And then, I've used this before and I've forgotten the name. I think it's a Snow Angel Bath Mail. Snow Angel Bath Mail. I think this was around five pounds. In the Snow Cake scent, which is one of my favourite Lush scents. And what is being really noisy outside? 
think it might have been my boiler. I'm really, I'm really sorry. I can't do anything about that. I'm nearly done. Don't mention bath melt. It smells amazing. It makes the water really milky and creamy and it has gold glitter. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to have to try and hurry through because I know that noise is annoying. And then, speaking of snow cake, we have the saucy snow cake soap. One of my favourite Lush soaps. Haven't had any in a while. Needed to stock up. I'm going to buy another chunk soon before it goes. But it's the snow cake soap. But then it also has this kind of like black currenty saucy layer on the top, which is new this year. I wish it had just been regular snow cake because you don't get a lot of it. Almost half of the soap is taken up with this layer. But I like that they've done something different because I know every time they do bring snow cake back, they sometimes do it a bit different. And then we have three products left. This one I bought as soon as I saw it at the showcase I knew I had to get it. I'm not a massive fan of the scent, I just wanted it because it's a snowman and this is the snowman bubble room. Yep, that's what it's called. So, so cute. One of my other favourite like Lush Christmas products is the Melting Snowman Bath Melt. That hasn't been back for a year or two now, I believe. So I kind of got this to replace that because it's a snowman. But yeah, that's him. Then this was another product. I saw in Gwen's video. But she said she didn't like this, but I was just intrigued by the scent. This is the... Oh my god, I can't remember what it's called now. I wanted to try it so much, I forgot the name. Honey Cane Roulade Shower Smoothie. This smells like pure peppermint. It's kind of like a cross between a soap and a body conditioner, almost. I've never used any blushes shower smoothies, ever. I've used this one twice. I do really like it, but I've used quite quite a lot and this was really expensive. I think it was like seven pounds. So I can't see it lasting particularly long. If it does go in the sale and I'm able to get another one, I would buy one half price or whatever the offer is on Boxing Day. But I do really like it, but I just don't think it's gonna last particularly long. And then this is one that I saw at the showcase and immediately dismissed. But then I was watching reviews because I didn't actually, although I smelled everything at the showcase, because there was so much going on around you, all of the scents kind of mixed. This just smells like mint chocolate chip. It smells so, so good. Have I even said what this is called? I think it's Thunder Snow Bath Bomb. Thunder Snow Bath Bomb. It smells like mint chocolate chip. I can't wait to use this. This is probably going to be the next bath product I use. I've been really wanting to use these, but I've been saving them to show in the video. It smells absolutely amazing. And I don't really buy it full price bath bombs ever. Had to try that. And it's a really unusual scent for Lush to do, like mint chocolate chip. They kind of would either do just a mint or just a chocolate. But um, I'm gonna go now because the board has been really noisy. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time.